Okay, this is how we rake leaves when we get old. goes to the city and one bag goes to my compost bin. Okay, it works better when the bag is empty. I know, I know, I'm chasing one leaf. So that's pretty good. Better than when I started. Thanks for watching this one, folks. All right, my friends, just getting ready for winter. This is my own filter. I'm gonna see how well it cleans out and I might just put it back on the mower. We gotta turn on the compressor. The compressor has developed an ultra slow leak since I washed the garage floor. Yes, I'm a cheap, I'm a tight wad. <laughs> Don't mind how I look, I've been out mowing leaves and running machines dry for the winter. Three weed whackers, <laughs> I ran dry. Two leaf blowers, two lawn mowers, uh, one chainsaw, and then I pulled the recoil, not rewind, out of it. 
and uh, got to be one more, eh? Oh, and the tractors are still sitting out there with the old gas in them too. So, yeah, we'll get to that by the next few days. It's getting cold. So anyway, mail call, whatever you want to call it. This is from Jim Yeski in where? Oh, I'm not going to even say where he lives, but I'm going to get. My super favorite scissors, if I can find them. They were in the fire drawer, as they should be. Okay, so I think I can cut along the top here. I'm not going to reveal his address. <coughs> Little note. Oh, what is this? Well, let's read the note. Oh, Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Please find enclosed two handcrafted aluminum Honda carburetor alignment bolts for the sandwiched Honda carburetor gasket mess. I recently made myself a pair, so I thought I would send you a pair. They are fabricated from quarter-inch rods, so there is a bit of progress a process required to reduce them to the required... Yeah, right. So he probably... Did he lay them, or what did he do? I added some red paint to the threads to make it easy to tell which is the threaded end. I sold several Honda mowers this fall, so they came in handy. I shipped them with caps to protect the threads in shipping. They are a bit longer than the, than the minimum required. But the air filter housing can be slid off with the breather hose still attached. So I left them at the current length. You may choose to shorten them somewhat. I hope you may find them useful. Well, even before I, uh, even before I open that up, uh, every single small engine mechanic has had this issue. Now, I used uh, just a couple of old posts. I cut the heads off, but they're too short. Maybe he noticed that. So now, let's be careful. Good packer. Oh, wow. So, you know, who, uh, the guy who originally told me about this is Dave, Dave Ackerman from Dave's Small Engine Revival. I shouldn't have said his last name because he took that off YouTube, but we all know him as that. And uh, he got me onto it. And then I, first of all, I just started using um, two long pins, which helped. And then I went to my threaded rods, which are too short. And now I got these. Look at that. Threaded one end, protected. So you know where those are going to go. Right into carburetor kit. Yay! And this came from the same town that Jim lives in, but it doesn't say if it's from him, but I bet it is. So let's just have a look and see what's in here now. Okay. <laughs> Is that a hint? Oh, it's it's packed well too. Ah, Papa San. <laughs> I'm just trying. Oh, that's for draining the brakes with the seal. Any explanation in there? Yep. That looks like a the top of a Briggs uh, oil cap. We'll see what he says. I think it's from Jim too. Yes. Please find enclosed a handcrafted Briggs and Stratton quantum oil change device. Some assembly required. 
The outlet hose will need to be unfolded and the angled opening should be pointed down when used. This will allow you to easily check if the draining process is completed. I know you can make good use of it. Wow! You know, I can think of about 50 other uses for that too. Jim, you're knocking it out of the park, buddy. I'm going to make a video for you. Now, my oil change stuff, where is that? It's down here. We're going to put that down there with that stuff. Down there. I think so. Right there, eh? Right? I'll give it a chance to straighten out too. Wow, Jim. Once again, thank you.